Hello everyone, and what we want to look at here today is a website known as SpongeLab. SpongeLab is a way to assign science-based uh, information and lessons and units and different game, actually games to students uh, all online. It features lots of different interactive videos and um, different content, so let's take a look. When a student comes here or yourself to log in, uh, you can either create your information or if it's your Google App School, which uh, many of us are, you can click the Google logo right here. And it will ask students uh, to create, assign their Google Apps account to this. I've already done that, uh, so it just brings me right in. Now, what we see when we get here is there's kind of different information. Students can come in and they can actually just explore. You don't actually have to assign any content to them. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But a student can come in and just kind of look around. Uh, you'll see there's like different graphics and images, and there's games and simulations, animations and videos, and even lesson plans and quizzes. Uh, and, and some of these actually have e-textbooks that students could read. Well, let's look at some of the games and simulations because this is kind of fun. So here's a build a cell. We say launch interactive. Take a second to load, and actually this one walks students through the basic setup of an animal cell. And students will have to kind of go through and click each different thing and drag them in to learn about it. Now, one of the really great things about SpongeLab is that you can create your classes. So if I go to my classes, I'll see the class name, but then it generates a class code. A student could take this code and then they in theirs over on the side where it says join class they'd put that code in there and it would join in and you would see all your students start listing here well then you can actually assign lessons to students if I were going to go to my lessons I can see different lessons that I've been just been kind of practicing with in here if I create a new lesson and let's say this is going to be design a cell and this could just be a regular lesson I would have a presentation date now there is some kind of due date for it and I can say what class to assign it to so I'll hit save and now that assignment has been assigned to that class All right now within that lesson you can do different things to it. So let's check out my design a cell lesson. I can add content to it. Now the way you add content is pretty simple. If we remember that explore, when we're looking through this, there's little plus signs next to everything. So I could say I want to add this build a cell to my list. Now under my lessons, I find the lesson, so designing a cell, add content, and I can move that over. So it's pretty nice and simple. So if I go back and look at my lessons again, here's my design a cell, and build a cell is part of that. So Mr. Cone class here has been assigned the design a cell lesson, and within it they have to build a cell. So it's a really kind of neat way of just assigning uh, information to students. If you don't want them just to kind of explore, you can actually assign the content straight to them. Um, there are more things just than just biology. You can see there's like chemistry. And we have earth science, engineering, geography, history, mathematics, physics, and psycho psychology. So some of these that are a little newer may not contain as many items as the other ones, but the options are there to do it. So it's pretty cool. So that's SpongeLab. Uh, you can find a lot more different tutorials online or uh, walkthroughs on exactly how to do it. Even when you create your account, it will give you a nice walkthrough on how to do everything. So thanks for watching and hope you find this useful.